So I'm going to be doing a double layer on this one. I'm going to show you how to do double layer. I got a lot of you guys uh, asking about this, so might as well do it. So it's going to be actually the third video today. I'm on a roll. So we got black and green. It's going to be green on the inside. And it's going to be black on the outside. All right. So uh, generally, I usually do 1.08 and 1.06. But if you know if you're in a pinch and all you have is 0.08, you could do both uh, 0.08, or you could do both 0.06. Today we're doing 0.08 green and 0.06 black. Really doesn't matter the thickness; it's just going to be a lot stiffer than a normal uh, single layer holster. So I will show you how to do this. And one thing to also remember is that because these are two different thicknesses, they're going to um, absorb the heat a lot differently than each other. So we're going to heat this one up to probably about 150 before we throw this one in, and hopefully get them in at the uh, same time. So we're doing a shield nine. So we're gonna go ahead and block this out how we normally would. All right, good old five layers. And it's gonna be an IWB taco style with just a cant on it. So. I got, already got the blocking out and everything that I need. I'm going to explain my blocking too, or at least the, why I place it where I do. Find it is. So, normal, right here. If you look, okay, the entire part of that clip is touching the firearm. So, if you normally have it here, and you go ahead and do it that way for your cant, now you got half of it is off. If you can see that half of it is off the firearm. Okay, so that means when you pull your firearm, holster's gonna come with it because it's not gonna grip the belt. So, what to do is put it downward further so you have at least three quarters on, but it makes it so when you rotate it, bam, all of it is on the holster. So that's gonna go right about there. And we'll get the pencil. Make our crisp edges, otherwise it'll look like crap. Also, one thing you gotta realize, the second layer of the um, dual layer won't be as defined as the first. Okay, so you got your options here. Um, we know it's right here. So this one is plenty long enough and it has the angle. This one is also plenty long enough and it's curved. I like the angle. I just think it personally looks better. But as long as it fits, you can do whatever you want. You can either go that way or you can go this way. So I'm going to go just like that. And again, first layer Back down, second layer, straighten it out. Okay, and then third layer. Okay, now we have to add our retention plate, which I have to find. And then we're going to be going right on. So it's in here. All right. Is ready. I'm going to throw these in the oven and then I'll show you what they look like when we pop out. All right, so we got both pieces in the oven. They are roughly, all right, one's at 357, the other one's at 330. Good enough for me, good enough for government work. All right, so I'm going to lay down the black, lay down the green right on top of the black. Okay, 
then both at the same time. Stretch, hold. And that be it. So, the pressure along with them being melted will cause them to stick together without any chemicals. Get this go good. I want to see some good uh, definition on this guy. All right. Once that pops out in about eight minutes, we'll turn this back on. All right. Let's see how this looks. Rumble, please. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. And for a double, I'll take it. Hell yeah. All right, fresh out of the press. And uh, it looks pretty damn good. I like it. Just remember, you're not going to have crisp definition with dual layer. Uh, this is 0.06, and then the green right here, which is uh, 0.08. So, uh, just like any normal IWV. We'll go ahead and um, and get that going. So, just like any normal one, off the trigger guard, and then I usually follow the body lines. I like to be parallel with it, but enough to still have two. All right, then we'll come up halfway over the mag release. Follow the curvature of the back, and. Up now, I follow the grip, and then boop. That's where I usually. That's where I'll do it if it's um, RMR cut. You don't have to do it that low all the time. A lot of times it's better to do it, you know, closer up here because it'll get more rigidity. It's stronger for um, flexing. Now because this is double layer, you're not gonna have to worry about that. So we can cut it here. We can cut it up here. I'm probably gonna just right there, just so it looks a little bit better. And then we'll go ahead, take this apart, and cut it.
Dogs found the bone. Again, the rim oil washes off the pencil marks that we had on there. Not to mention, it gives it a nice little shine. And if you're worried about your first dual layer, look at that. Nice and tight, right around the channel. Very good edge. Yep. All right, so now we'll go ahead and get back to the normal stuff. So we will do this. So I'm just going to mark these. All right, and one thing you need to remember, unless you have a really, really, really sharp bit, which mine's dull as shit, let it cut. Don't force it because it'll start to separate it, but with the bolts on, it'll keep it together. So that's the only, only really drawback with this. And that didn't separate. Hell yeah. Inside is clean. Okay, next. Oh yeah. Okay, next would be the retention. Through all four layers. So you can see that separated a little bit. That's because the crap from inside, you just have to get that out. And once you get it all out, you'll be fine. We we'll use uh, compressed air combined with that knife. See that holds it together now. So it's like that. 
It's because it's split because of the crap that went inside. But when we put the uh, retention on, that's going to hold it right up. So. So the only difference is I use the same um, threaded posts, but the bolt is going to be just a little bit longer. So I'll go with the next size up. And I usually do 7 16 this time I'm doing half inch. We'll see how that works. I always love dropping stuff. Remember, double layer will always be <laughs> a lot tighter to work with. Just a little more. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go get my... Hey, Ellie. Laser. Doing whoop, finger. All right. Let's see here. So I'm gonna open this up. So that's what I put on the holsters, and then this goes on my foamies. So that's showing me where it's going, and then I generally like to see the box, and then I'll just Square it up to where I want it. Turn the laser on. Right, well, that's there. It's going to do like eight passes. clean this place. We'll grab the holster. All right, we are at seven of 10 passes. So two more left. Then we'll do the holster. We got some flasks to do, some bottle openers. You got you see my mess here. Oh, I can't wait to clean this. That's my pit bull. Benny. My oh, buddy. He is a hundred pound, little over a year old pit. This part. I always put them right there. There we go. Hold that. There we go. So, let's see here. All right, click on that. This is a shield. Let's 
So, S and W. Shield 940. Make sure it's good there. Yeah, so it's an IWB right hand. Check the placement of it. It's going right there. Let's see where this is going. Okay, and then I will hold that. Yeah. And that's how I brand them. One more pass. Bam. Okay. Shut the laser off. Man. Good buddy. I think my Ellie's trying to sneak downstairs. Here on the camera, probably. Oh, yep, there she is. <laughs> what a little troublemaker. All right. Okay, that's beauteous. I'll go ahead and get the. And because this is adjustable retention, I only put. Loctite on one, and that's going to be the one that pivots. Squared. And touching. And there you are. Shave that a little bit. Don't want it going out with that. That's from the uh, the mold. There we go. All right, and final product. Boom.